Let me quickly come to your question on opinion pollsters. I remember early this year, was it uh, somewhere in March or May, when we had a conversation on the US election, uh, we were open to various factors and we said we were actually in agreement that uh, the US election was going to be too close to call. So it is not surprising to see Donald Trump uh, being uh, president-elect today as we sit here. A lot of factors actually might have contributed to that. And uh, I've seen a lot of articles again uh, talking about Bradley effect, talking about the spiral of, uh, of silence, and talking about the entire campaign. But let me say this. Hillary Clinton lost the US election when Bernie Sanders was controversially denied the ticket of the Democratic Party. Why do I say so? You saw exactly Bernie Sanders was somehow the favorite, according to the news that time, the opinion polls that were projecting Bernie Sanders as the favorite candidate of the Democratic uh, Party. Number two, Hillary Clinton failed to live up to the aspirations of uh, the average US citizenry. Hillary Clinton represented the past. Donald Trump was talking of the future. He actually spoke the language of the average American. The entire conversation on uh, uh, terrorism, the entire conversation of making America great again, the entire conversation of building a wall along the Mexican uh, border, those were the issues that propelled uh, Donald Trump uh, to be elected as we speak today. And those are the issues that were definitely ignored by opinion pollsters. When Ohito talks of uh, the standard carrying uh, the headline story, I think that was a risk when they spoke of on the verge of history in reference to uh, Hillary Clinton. It actually depicted the situation that um, the average editor in the newsroom struggles with, especially when you're looking at critical stories of this nature.